good, Scooter, everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. As we know, Cynthia G is off YouTube and many people are sad about it but here's what i honestly believe that some folks think that cynthia g was somewhat of a maverick somewhat of a trendsetter and she just lived a lifestyle that other folks could not understand i would like to prove to you today that cynthia g is no different than any other hypocrite out there in these streets no different in fact i would say the same she ain't no different than you it me, anybody else who's human. And Cynthia G has some re receipts that were released. Um, and, and she had a plan to take down two prominent black male YouTubers, okay? Now, what I like to do, I wanna just take this time here, listen to this video, and I'm gonna come back. Yeah, after I put my book out, I'm getting away from YouTube. Obviously that didn't happen. I'm still out. I'll steal out videos on Patreon for those who want them, but I believe it's a complete lost cause. So she just gave up. The men are completely conquered and not a threat to white supremacy at all at this point. It's really sad and discouraging. And then the friend responded, and I feel you, it's so much other S-H-I-T you can do than bother with low vibrations. Let's go to the text number two. This is when she revealed she was pregnant. All right. This is when she revealed she was pregnant. She said, have you told Rob? Again, Robert Perkins, allegedly. She said, I'm actually terrified. I did. And he's been dramatic. So I'm not taking. So I'm not talking to him. So she said she told him that she was pregnant, but he's being dramatic and she's not going to talk to him. And then the friend said, what do you mean by dramatic? She said, he's talking about he's traumatized and didn't want a kid. He's dumb. His dumb reaction is enough to make me vomit with all this nausea. I'm so sick almost all the time. And then the friend responded, pregnancy can be very scary, especially if you didn't plan it. She said, it is because I didn't want to bring a child into a system of white supremacy. And I certainly wasn't prepared to deal with the symptoms. Let's go to the third message. Uh, she said, are you going to be in Seattle for the holidays? Hopefully the black doctors take it more seriously. I'll be in Seattle on January 23rd for my niece's birthday in court. I'm going to file against Tariq and Tommy for the vile rumors they spread. Now, I don't know her history with these black men, but apparently in the past, she has debated these men. She has basically went back and forth online with these men. I don't know the alleged rumor she's talking about, but if it was this about this pregnancy, that's not a rumor. This is proof. These messages are proof. Sue me if I'm lying that you had a baby, a daughter by a so-called dusty beta male, the very men that you tell black women not to date, not to sleep with, not to even talk to, that you sell, tell to abort black babies, you didn't abort yours. So as you see, Cynthia G wanted to take down Tommy and Tariq Nasheed, wanted to have a lawsuit against them. However, the questionable thing was about what? Because whatever they were saying about you wasn't a lie, you see. But what Cynthia G was doing to her audience was a lie. You were pregnant. You were pregnant by a man, clearly, that had no real interest in you. He did not appreciate the fact that you were talking down on, on black men. Yet, you still went ahead and did that anyway. And this is this is the issue with folks like Cynthia. Um, they say one thing, do something else. Let me say it again. Say one thing, do something else. And then guess what? It's called lying. That is what exactly it is referred to. Now I know that you're not gonna like that. I know you got a problem with that. I know you I know you take umbrage with it. But the reality is, is that she was lying. She was out here talking about pookies and rare rays and she wouldn't sleep with no dusty dude. 
And that is exactly what she was doing. And she tried to silence black men who had exposed the fact of this hypocrisy, just like she was going around who they choose, taking pictures of black men with, with overweight white women. But see, she doesn't want to deal with the topic here. The topic and the subject is, why did you lie? How did you get pregnant by a man who didn't want to be with you? But yet you go around talking about somebody's a dusty beta male. Somebody's a bandit. And what we have found out is this is what you want to deal with. This is what you want to have sex with. We found that out. And you were going around saying the same thing. And the man got tired of actually dealing with you because of what you were doing. And now somehow you want to make this black man's fault. Like how much exposure do we need here? Now, this is the same lady going around telling every black woman they need to delete their pregnancy, but she didn't delete hers. She didn't delete hers. You need to deal with a man that's not a dusty, that's not a bandit. What does she do? What does she do? Has a baby by a guy that has six other kids. Then have them unmitigated gall to come up there on the platform, weaving and sailing up. Get yourself booted off the platform, by the way, which is very difficult to do. You, you lose your main income to take care of whatever child you have. Ruining your own life, getting your Candace Owens on. Because you're, there's no way you can do the right thing. You're destroying yourself. You would destroy somebody else if they were dealing with you also. And, that, and, and, and that's incredibly terrible. Like if you look through the messages that you guys have seen, isn't she reminding you of somebody like that's in the hood? You you wouldn't you wouldn't think that the way that she talks, that you know, and the way how Cynthia is, that she would be having problems like this. Oh, 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 yes, she is. And let me tell you this, there's a lot of brothers out there that give a lot of sisters some credit that maybe you give them credit based on what they're saying or what they're talking about. Because let me tell you like this, like most black women will give you credit a little bit about what you may have, but they will definitely deal with you by, by, how, by, by, by what you do, by how you present yourself. The problem is with Cynthia G on the internet, we didn't know how dusty she was, but she's going around here calling every other black man dusty. When you're living a life of complete structure of dust, everything that you touch is, 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 within, is within dust, everything. There is nothing that you are actually doing here or now that isn't hypocritical, that isn't sad. You talked about you don't like white supremacy, but you're bringing a baby into white supremacy because you don't want to wear condoms. Is that what it is? You don't want to wear condoms. But maybe that might have been the case in the first place. You know, let me bring a baby into this world that will love me since maybe somebody else doesn't. And you'd be surprised at how many ladies do that. And yes, a man, it's a boy. Imagine how that young man's gonna grow up with a mother like that. And just think about all of the opportunities that this lady has blown for herself. All because you're hateful and unaccountable. It's Rob's fault you got pregnant, right? Look at those text messages. There's ain't no level of accountability that she's trying to say, you know what, I messed up. I did X, Y, and Z. I destroyed, no, 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 no. You're not gonna hear that. No, you're never gonna hear that. As sure as I'm black, as long as I'm black, you're never gonna hear that. Accountability, nothing but lies is what you're gonna hear. Then there'll be the same people talking about, you know what, we gotta get away from black men. Get away from black men and do what? The same thing you was doing in the same community with black men. Like, where are you going to go and do something with what? Imagine you be out on a date. Then you'll tell somebody, you know what? We ought to go ahead and delete all black male babies. And so like even a white guy would get up and walk away because it don't make no sense. But guys, what do you think it's your boy? O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk. I put your far use heard a bell. We're out.